Our mission here at Motiver Labs is to develop robotic systems that enable the manufacturing of advanced uh, next generation therapies at scale and affordably. The robots we developed, which you can see behind me, are effectively uh, robotic factories for next generation therapies. Inside the system, uh, there are actually uh, several robotic arms and the robotic arms move the therapies from one module to the next. So these are robots that are designed to make as many therapies as possible, as cheaply as possible, because that's what the field needs right now for the potential of these therapies to actually reach all the patients. And I think there is an understanding in the industry that that's not gonna be possible by asking, I don't know, a million scientists that by the way don't exist because there are not that many, to go in a clean room and make them by hand. We believe that the only way to get these therapies in the hands of hundreds of thousands to millions of patients is by automating manufacturing processes. Robots need to learn skills from highly trained humans and scientists. So we start from video demonstrations by scientists. And for that, we use uh, a lot of imitation learning. And whenever we can do reinforcement learning, we try to do that too. And that's done in Isaac Sim. So it's super useful to us to have a digital twin and so you can run a whole simulation of the system hundreds, sometimes thousands of times, and you essentially debug it before even running it. And so from that point of view, something as advanced as Isaac Sim is essential to us because it must be a simulation that you can actually trust to replicate the real world. We also work a lot with Groot, the NVIDIA foundation model for robotics. I think three or four years ago, there were actually no foundation model for robotics. So the fact that one exists is already special. The fact it's widely available thanks to the NVIDIA team, it's unprecedented. And so this really accelerates adoption and deployments. It's very satisfying to be in this moment as a roboticist. It was always science fiction before, while right now it's, it's actually happening. 